what is up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here, coming to you from the MTV Artist to Watch show, joined by Rin Weaver. Rin Weaver. How are you? Hi. I'm excited I'm to great. talk to you. Nice. Hello. We're talking about outfits before yeah, this. This, this little... And do you thing. know what I love about us is that we just compliment each other. We're like, oh, I love this. I love that. That's like cool girls do that. Totally. Cool girls. And we're cool girls. Girls that are cool on the level of like, no need to hate on other girls. Speaking of which, congrats on being an MTV artist to watch. Thank you so much. Um, where were you when you found out? And what was your reaction? I'd been asking about it. And I was like, do we like, is, is there any news? And then somehow I think I had, there was a list that my manager had to go over with me. And he's like, oh, by the way, you're MTV artist to watch. And it was just yeah, like, that's a big deal. <laughs> You can't just like throw that. I I wanted like we should have like popped champagne. It's cool. I'm I'm over 21. I <laughs> well, and I love it because we all grew up watching MTV, and we all had exactly. like musician crushes. So I want to know who is like your ultimate musician crush that you watched wow. on MTV. You know, I always liked Usher, but you know, back in the day, Backstreet Boys was my thing. Yeah, I was in sync. Ooh. Yeah, that's okay oh, though. That's okay. No, because I, I as time went on, in sync, you know. The, okay. There's just boys everywhere, yeah. but I loved Nick Carter when I was young. I had this like blonde thing. Oh, I love As that. I've aged, I feel I turned more brunette in my pickings. <laughs> but when I was young, it was all those little all beachy '90s boy, blonde boys, boys. Bloys. Oh, who was that guy from Crazy Town? Is that weird? Oh. The come, my lady, come, come, come my lady. Yo, my sugar, just like, sugar, sugar baby. baby. Um, and he said like, I'll make your legs shake. And I was like 13. I was like, what is that? What? Act of Hate. Yeah. Love the song. So good. Love the music video. Thank you. Talk to me about putting that out. What went into that decision? It was really aggressive. And I think there's like, there's multiple parts to it. And to me, it was, it was a full piece as a song. And I love Promises. And Promises is such a beautiful song. And I love all the songs on the EP. And I love all the songs on the album. But Act of Hate just kind of felt like a kick down the door kind of situation. And you got so much amazing feedback. And I worked on it with Charlie. I was going to say, Charlie yeah. uh, XCX. She's awesome. She's so great. Yeah. Um, I heard you guys are working on a secret po project, actually. I don't know if it's like that secret anymore, but it's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> we worked on like some songs in a, in a Gwen Stefani writing camp, and cool. it was really, really sweet. And I think, I, I, I don't know the whole situation. It's weird, you know, songs songs go all over the place. That's so, exciting, But I think, I think she's keeping some of them, so Ooh. we'll see. Who knows? And any maybe that might be on your album because your full length album's coming out very it's soon. It's already done. Okay. Mm. Any, were any Charlie XX written songs on that? You know, not this time around. Okay. I mean, there's that one. Uh, but I wrote most of that album in my own little space. You're a very yeah. vulnerable writer. Talk to me about that because I feel like a lot of your music is very vulnerable. When you put it out there, is there that extra, ner extra nerves going into it? No, actually, I think that's. That makes me less nervous. I think I am like super afraid of phony things. And people like, I'm much more afraid of like dressing all like moody and like pretending to be cool because that's just not who I am. And then the second I have an interview and I do this, I'm like, ah. So I think just um, being genuine and I think um, that, that makes me more comfortable. You know what I mean? And I spend a lot of time on my words and make sure that I'm saying exactly what I want to say and I love imagery, and I, I just spend a lot of time on my writing. So that's like the one place where I'm like, fly free. That's like one place that I feel very strong, more so than my singing. I mean, my voice is all over the place, but like my words, you can't take those you away from me. <laughs> about your album. Thank you. I heard you wrote a rap song. <laughs> no, 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 that was before, this um, is now. <laughs> and lastly, what is your go-to dance move? I guess I just like do. A, little. a lot of that. Look That's just like that. a thing. I used to like do like weird little arm things, but I think I like grew out of that. If your fans could take one thing away from this album, what would it be? I think everyone can relate to it on one level or another, but it's written definitely from a modern woman's perspective in a, a time where I think uh, there's less stigmas around being a modern woman and experiencing life and there's not as many rules about what you have to do as a woman versus being a man. And so I think... Uh, it really kind of touches on what it's like to lose love and lose, you know, a very run away from a really bad situation and then also find a really good situation. But maybe you're not ready for that and there's nothing wrong with that. You spread your wings. You know what I mean? So I think it's just kind of about the human condition and being young and being afraid and being excited and all that stuff. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Nice meeting you and good thank luck you. tonight. Thank you so much. Stay cool in your bodysuit. Oh. <laughs>